The real pivotal moment at the LA Times, I think, was uh, in 1992, after the LA uprisings. And at that time, uh, the Asian American community was really upset with our coverage. Especially the photos that we were publishing, showing Korean Americans on rooftops, armed with guns, and it gave the impression that Koreans were these vigilantes out there without really explaining that the reason they were on the rooftops with guns was because the police had abandoned their neighborhoods and had left their homes, their shops to be vandalized and burned and looted. And so the community went in uh, into a meeting with our executive editor, Shelby Coffey, and demanded that we hire an Asian American reporter. Now, Craig Matsuda and AAJA members had earlier asked our Metro editors to hire an Asian American community reporter, and they had refused. They said they didn't see the need for it. But because of the uprising and the outcry and the obvious problems with having um, insufficient coverage, Shelby agreed on the spot to hire an Asian American reporter. We were able to bring in um, the legendary and late Kay Connie King, who came and she was just perfect for the job. You know, she had been born in North Korea, she was raised in Tokyo, she was trilingual, Japanese, Korean, and English, and she really elevated our community coverage. <laughs> 